Today in the Road Testament, I replace Spinelli, Farrah replaces me, we find someone who actually knows something about cars, and we discuss the masterclass f down problem with car shopping, which is options. What are the most expensive and outrageous options you can option for a car? Road Testament. Follow us on Twitter at Drive, follow us on Facebook slash Drive TV, and follow my ass on Twitter at The Smoking Tire. All right, tell me about options. Well, my favorite car journalist, Jack Baruth, who's the Danny Trejo of car journalism, wrote a great op-ed last year about the history of options. Back in the day in the 60s, any car you bought had a laundry list of options that was colossal, and literally any car you bought was absolutely unique. Which is why Barrett Jackson today, it's like, this was only one of three cars built on a Tuesday with purple interior, a 426 Hemi, a four speed, and a standard fitted picnic basket. Which is why you can buy an entry level piece of crap vintage car <laughs> yeah. and, and think that it's actually special and unique. Right. Uh, in the 70s, the Japanese brought in good, better, best option packages, yeah. which annihilated customization and the, the uniqueness of pretty much all cars. It was the EX, LX model designations. SX. Yeah. And then you have options today. It's all packages. Everything's a package. Except for one particular manufacturer like, we're going to get to. Yeah, but if you want like heated seats, you have to get like the, the leather package. seats with the sunroof. Like you have to get. I, I was uh, looking at a car, and you had to get nav. You had to get navigation to get heated seats. And navigation, <laughs> navigation is the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> f down of all of all options. Yeah, it was like two thousand dollar navigation system. Farah, you owned a lot of cars. I have. I've owned a lot of cars. Let's go through what you learned when you researched the most outrageous up option options. Well, in my own life. The most expensive option I have ever paid for is actually navigation. What car was that? In my, my Raptor. Because Ford's <laughs> navigation happens to be very good. It, really? And Ford's dashboards, when you order them without navigation, are very bad. So I figured, what the hell, and navigation. And also, doesn't navigation also come with a backup camera? It also comes with, kind of it comes with backup camera, and it makes all the other interfaces and stuff like work better. Let's so, get into yeah. this the fun way. Well, my favorite game, not my favorite game, but my favorite game when someone says, Matt, you should come be on Road Testament, is to go online and find and, and option up cars to absurd levels. I literally spend an hour a day configuring cars. Yeah. I have a hundred saved cars. The online configurators have made car shopping fun. Although there are some seriously crap configurators out there. I'm deeply offended if a manufacturer doesn't have a good configurator. And well, without a doubt. Some manufacturers, like I, as I learned this morning, General Motors, for instance, will let you overlay options without adjusting the price accordingly. Like yep. most, yeah, most manufacturers, if you, if you have to get this in order to get this, it will adjust the price if you click in real on time. It. In real time. General Motors, if I <laughs> if I order if I go on their configurator and I click, you know, uh, uh, the nineteen inch wheels and then the twenty inch wheels, it will just add both of them to the price. Wow. And if you go to Maserati today, you'll find their configurator <laughs> doesn't even work. Let's roll into the cars. Okay. Let's roll into this. Mini <laughs> <laughs> now, Mini prides itself, and when you go to their configurator, of having 10 million combinations. Because you can get a base Mini, stock, like, super base strict. MSRP 22,450. Now, this is a oh, this is a Countryman. This is a front-wheel drive, non-turbo Countryman. So the most entry-level Countryman. Base price 22,450 dollars. I was able to add. Twenty-two thousand dollars. Twenty-two thousand dollars more of options. So you could actually have two of these for the price. Yeah, a forty-four thousand dollar non-turbocharged Mini Countryman, <laughs> not John Cooper Works or anything like that. What's um, outrageous about this is that Mini has an absolutely crap resale value unless you get the John Cooper Works. So if you get this car right. with these options. You are going to get you drive it off the lot, and you have a twenty-two thousand dollar car in uh, in one month. And it's not even a good car to begin. With. Even for twenty-two, it's not that good a car. Uh, I don't mind the country. I had a Countryman S all-wheel drive. It was not bad. 
It wasn't great. I wouldn't buy one. But, for but it was like acceptable. For $44,000. <laughs> think 44, of it. You could get an Audi A4. $44,000 is approaching S4 money. It's, it's about yeah, a thousand yeah. shy of a base S4. And you're talking many countrymen right there. And there's someone out there driving this car. Oh, yeah. Now, not to... Uh, <laughs> now we have to look at w- probably the most heinous Mini Cooper. Is this a 65% markup <laughs> over the right. base price? I, I went and I added basically everything you can stick on this car. And I, what's crazy about Minis is, because there's other brands where, where you play this game with other brands, but you'll never really see that mythical, crazy price card on the road. No, no real person actually buys this crap. But minis, I see these every accessory. Does this have the John Cooper works package? No. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this, is a, this is a non-turbocharged mini, okay, but with every cosmetic enhancement you can put on a mini, and it is a $50,000 base Mini Cooper. If I recall correctly, are not the wheels for this car a $1,900 option? They somewhere? are. And the brown steering wheel with black interior was about $600. Uh, it has a John Cooper Works wing on the back of it. The John Cooper Works body kit, which is like $2,500. And you are... <laughs> you, this is uh, What's crazy is I see these cars. In L.A., I see... I've John seen, Cooper yeah. works body kits and these wheels and the checkered flag mirror covers and all that crap on base cars all the time. This particular one really highlights one aspect of optioning up cars, which is that the GPS, the optional GPS system in this car is still a really small screen. But it it's is. a very expensive system. And in minis in particular, it is possibly the worst GPS I've ever used. I it don't, is an it, absolutely horrible GPS. I almost, I mean don't want to buy a car made after 2004 because modern GPS systems are so expensive, they're packaged with so much other crap I don't want. And they, and they do get upgradable. outdated. Well, my, my Ford's is. It's upgraded. They charge me $300 to upgrade it. My 2000 E39 BMW, which is still CD-ROM based NAS. Oh, that's... The DVDs to update them <laughs> are like $500. Yeah, it's insane. It's like, I, insane. Could, I could either like buy a new iPhone or like up... And they when you, when you spend $300 to upgrade my Ford one, they send you a USB drive. You've just spent... $300 on a USB, USB drive. drive. But what are you going to do? Next car. Let's see what we have next. BMW. <laughs> BMW, no stranger to options. They See, these are all, here's an example of packages. Mini has individual stuff, right? You get the checkered mirrors and the roof graphics and the brown steering wheel with black leather. These are all packages here. So you've got cold weather package, M Sport package, driver's assistance package, driver's assistance plus package. <laughs> Uh, dynamic handling package, lighting package, premium package, technology package. It's absurd the number of packages in this car. So this is a BMW 328, four cylinder, the entry level uh, three series, and I have optioned it up. And this is a this is totally realistic, by the way. This is a totally possible to do this. Sixty one thousand dollar three series. Just out of curiosity, an M3 with no <laughs> options is was fifty seven. <laughs> So three thousand dollars cheaper than this, and yeah. it probably has a lot of these things. Just it has, it will have some of them, yeah. But it, it, what gets even crazier is this is the three twenty eight, and I specifically for all these cars have chosen the base engine, right? Just because you got to start as cheap as possible. If you do th- build this car, but use a hybrid three series, <laughs> and you build the same car, you end up with a seventy thousand dollar three series. Well, all right. let me say this about BMW though, because I'm a BMW guy. Yes, this is outrageous, and it's a 40-ish percent markup over the base model. The base MSRP is 38.5, and I got it to 61. However, <laughs> I am not offended by BMW's option list because there are a lot of permutations, and the list of options is not that long compared to manufacturers we're going to get to in a second. That's true. So this is ridiculous and stupid. It is. But it's not as offensive as what's coming. Uh, well, there's one thing before we go to the next one that I find, I don't know, I checked it off because I checked off everything. What exactly is BMW tablet DVD system? I don't know, but... You have no idea. You're completely stumped. I have no idea. And, and also, what is a BMW Bluetooth speaker? It's obviously a speaker that goes like... On the why, why would you have that it's speaker? It's $19 on, on it's 14 It's $99. Street. On 14, <laughs> yeah, on 14 Street, $99. Let's go to the next one. The next car... 
the Mercedes C250 Coupe. Uh, this is also smallest available engine, uh, base car, and I have managed to option up to $61,000. What's the base price? Uh, the base price in this car was $37,000. So now it's a thousand cheaper than the BMW. This is where things start getting offensive for me because Mercedes has a pretty big option list, but they have ridiculously expensive packages. Yeah. I mean, pack, there's like I, there's some packages that are like six or seven. The driver $1, assistance $1. package is like six grand. Yeah, and yeah. then you have the Designo packages. <laughs> Which, which are, it's hard, even if I wanted, I wouldn't want to get it because Designo, it's just. It does make you sound very stupid if you yeah. say you have a Designo package. And, and all that stuff, you drive this car off the lot right now, and in, in six months, it's worth 32,000 bucks. Yeah, I mean, if you look, I mean, look back at like the Mercedes C230 compressor. Yeah. Remember that thing? Terrible car. You can't give it away. No. <laughs> and there were people who bought that car fully optioned out. I know people who put those compressor badges on other cars. I'm looking at you, Joel, with the Corvette. Get rid of that badge. All right, what's the next one? <laughs> uh, now, the American car makers are really no stranger to this. And the, the most egregious offenders in terms of, in terms of options are the trucks. And, but now, the good news is a lot of these options are actual functional stuff. It's not color-matched mirror caps as much as it is, you know, the, the locking differential, the heavy-duty alternators and batteries and that kind of stuff. But I have some experience in this car. I drove 2,000 miles in a GMC Sierra Denali uh, 3500, and it is for $66,000, which was the price of my demo car, has the worst interior. And this is a rear reach to rear-wheel drive model. No, it's 4x4. It is 4x4. I, it oh, no, two-wheel drive. It's rear-wheel drive. Wow, I didn't even add four-wheel drive to this one. So that's, I think, yeah. So add, you can add a couple extra grand for, uh, for four-wheel drive. But this thing, this had one of the funnier options. So the base price of a GMC 3500 truck is $38,000. I was going to guess thirty five. Yeah, and the MSRP of the Denali is forty seven. I've optioned up to sixty six without even checking four-wheel drive. Just out of curiosity, the Escalade, when it first started, was literally a Yukon. Yeah, with like body right. stuff on and it. I it think still they kind of is. literally just added ten thousand bucks to the price. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. this interior, I mean, this is a, this is a mess. But it's got a, you know an Allison transmission and, and that kind of stuff. But the trucks get really really expensive really quickly. The funniest option I box I checked on this was one I generally I seriously don't understand. It said door handles. $175. What? Now, that might mean they're chrome or something, but it just says door handles. What's so they, offensive about this is that anyone who really needs a truck is not spending can spend 37 on the base model <laughs> yeah. and get exactly the truck they need. Yeah, because you 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 have like it your guys are driving it. It's for work. Like this Outrageous. is crazy. And Ford, no stranger to uh, huge markups, the Ford F450 Platinum, $73,000. But hang on a second. This thing, what, what, how did, how did you option this up? Uh, well, <laughs> I got the, uh, the quick heater, which is literally how much a, is that? a space heater built into the cabin. It's like $500. The platinum automatically goes from 50 to 67. That's 000. all cosmetics. Though. All 100% cosmetic. All cosmetic. Uh, wheels are, which I suppose are somewhat functional. What, what functional items do you add to this to get it to 73,000 bucks? That makes well, it a better truck. Uh, the off-road package, theoretically, like three hundred bucks is free. It, that's free. <laughs> it, you spend that it like is. two no, nights. No, it's you, uh, navigation. There's like a contractor's computer that goes with it. it uh, you know, you can buy a TomTom -tom for ninety-nine I bucks. Know. It's a, it's a, you know, you pay for the diesel. The diesel engine is is uh, well, expensive. that's worth that's worth something. Of course, yeah, and the the heavy-duty transmission, heavy-duty suspension, and actually, but that's the, this is a seventy-three thousand dollar Ford pickup truck. And it's uh, and yeah. luckily it has incentives for a thousand bucks. You do save a thousand with incentives, yeah. Uh, it, your month. Imagine spending a thousand dollars a month monthly payment on a pickup truck. American trucks, pretty uh, pretty crazy with the options, but crazy. not not the most. Not as crazy as the one we really w could do a whole episode about, which is Porsche. Yes. Now I should. Add that I have been a victim of Porsche packaging. <laughs> Everyone knows Porsche options lists are the longest, and they can be incredibly expensive. But I actually paid. My <laughs> mother, when she turned 65, said that her whole life 
She wanted a Porsche convertible, and the last car she might ever own should be a Porsche convertible. And so I took her to the car show. She saw a Boxster, 2007 Boxster, and she loved it. And I told her my brother and I would buy it for her. And at the time, the car was about 50-ish. 50 50-something, 50 yeah. And then she went back to Germany and went to the dealership in Frankfurt and called me and said she really liked it, but she really liked the one with the red brake calipers. And now, so, but that's pre-ceramics. So how did you get red brake calipers? Well, was because, an option? well, I called up the dealer and said, can you maybe just paint the base boxer calipers red? They said, no, but you can get a Boxster S has red calipers. <laughs> and next thing you know, that car that my brother and I were going to buy my mother, maybe the last car she'd ever own, became literally the last car <laughs> she will ever own. Because that car went from 50 to literally to about $80,000. <laughs> and I will never, I mean, I, God bless my mom. I hope, I mean. Your mom is cool, but you bought her an $80,000 Boxster because S. she wanted red calipers. Yeah, because she wanted the red calipers. Now you, you know you could have just bought her the car and then painted There's the no calipers. way she would never, she would have known the difference. If she, would, she actually <laughs> said, if I can't have a Boxster, S with the red calipers, I don't want a car at all. And she was going to keep her 96 Z3, which was... Which would have been, that yeah. would have ended badly. So, Porsche configuration, arguably... The Probably most, the most fun configuration. The most fun. Yeah, because the because the range of things they offer, because they're the last company, well, sec, Mini as well, I'd say. Mini offers equal levels of customization, but Porsche will customize really weird stuff. But Mini probably, I mean, Mini, what, what do they have? They have literally... Like, like with plastic things, they to stick 50 on. 50 options. Yeah. But Porsche. They, you can get, I mean, the, the example that we always use is the leather air vents, which you can get, and I have included on our example. So this is a V6 Cayenne, the, the base, manual. base oh, Cayenne. Tiptronic. Tiptronic, yeah, you can't get a V6 with a manual. As we can see, the base price is 48850 I have optioned this car up to $110,480. <laughs> The, uh, there are sixty thousand six hundred dollars worth of options. Uh, on this without car. even looking at the list, I'm gonna let me guess. Porsche Active Stability Management is sixty two fifty. It's it's ridiculous. The air suspension expensive. is forty nine fifty. Yeah. The Burmeister stereo is uh, fifty six hundred. Uh, you know, lighted door sill guards. <laughs> this red color is like three thousand bucks. Wait, Porsche Crest in crested headrests. Right, gotta have the crested matching, headrests. Matching. Wait, wait. Uh, Seat belts match to body this color. This one, now, this, yeah, they got the seat belts. I've got the carbon dash, you know, the heated, uh, heated carbon steering wheel in it. Um, the, these wheels are like $5,000. Um, but the, this one is interesting. The electronic logbook, which I clicked on all my Porsches, Wait, it's, it's $650. I don't have the first clue what it is. I, 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 I think it's like a tracking, like it's like the free tracking the free app for your iPhone. Yeah. Is, 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 is a Porsche app is 650. And then uh, the telephone module with cordless handset is $930. <laughs> Absolutely. But the question with Porsche is I mean, the, the options, are, the, the level of customization is crazy. The amount they charge for the options is crazy. But do you think that money comes from? the annoyance of them having to build that car just for you rather than package it's not annoying it's a profit center for them Por why do you yeah. think porsche is one of the most profitable car company oh, in the world because of this it's not only because of, wait it's not yeah because it's because of, of this, of this. Because of this. <laughs> and, well, I mean, in defense of porsche i'm gonna go back to jack baruth the machete of car journalists <laughs> uh is, is that porsche is the last manufacturer where you could actually have an absolutely unique personalized car that's yours and i was that kid when i saw 911 drive by when i was you know like 10 mm. who said someday i'm going to order one that's yeah. just for me and then i found the price that was also <laughs> just for me i mean this that's outrageous but, but what's crazy about this <laughs> is that this at the in two years let's say someone actually spends 110 grand for this car in two years this car is is literally thirty thousand dollars no, it, it's like <laughs> because you get a port at 04 Cayenne Turbo for yeah. like 15. For, yeah. All right. Let's. The next one, which is still a Porsche, is your mom's Boxster. Now this is not an S. This is a base Boxster, 
and have a look at that price, would $61, you? Sixty-one thousand dollars in options. What'd you yeah. do to this car? Everything. I got. There's stuff in this car that is really, really stupid. Like uh, there is a leather leather wrapped navigation binnacle, <laughs> which you can get. <laughs> These wheels are six grand. Are those it's, the ceramic brakes? It's got ceramic brakes. This lime green color is like thirty-five hundred dollars. Is that the full leather, like custom? Full leather everything. Full leather, leather everything. Match seat belts, leather vents, uh, six disc CD changer. Six hundred and fifty dollars. It's eighty-four bucks on Fourteenth Street. Yeah. Uh, see, in this one, the cordless handset for telephone module is only six hundred and sixty-five dollars. Unbelievable. Uh, it's got PDK, obviously. These roll hoops are optional. <laughs> what, um, no, I think they're leather optional. No, does they're optional. With, no, they are totally it optional. Come with roll hoops. You can get you can get no hoops, optional hoops, leather optional right, hoops. In which defense I have. of Porsche, once again. Badge deletion is now a free option. It is. But when my father bought his Porsche in 71, it was like a $400 option. And they charge for, you for less stuff. For adjusted for inflation, that'd be like $2,000 <laughs> today to remove the badge. Yeah. Well, Porsche, as much as I enjoy driving their cars, and I do enjoy driving their cars, they are known for giving you less for more, like the Cayman R, which is like a Cayman with less stuff in it that costs more. Yeah. It's the only car manufacturer that charges more for the... Hard for the yeah for the removal for, yeah. of stuff unbelievable so yeah you can uh, actually make a, K, a Boxster hundred and eleven thousand dollars but the big winner here is is obviously the Panamera the Panamera no V6 way. <laughs> it's a V6 car Panamera three hundred horsepower one hundred and seventy eight thousand dollars this is one thousand dollars shy. Uh, of the base price of a Panamera Turbo S. Uh, and and if you buy the Turbo S just stripped, yeah. does it have most of these options? N actually, no. Really? If you buy a stripped Turbo S, it will actually look fairly basic. I, I drove a, a Turbo S press car with a few options in it, and it was 197. But that was a 550 horsepower, you know, dual clutch, launch control, crazy suspension. Um, this is this is a V6 with ceramic brakes. So what is the the uh, warranty on a new Porsche? Um, is it two years? I don't, no, it's got to be 336. Three, okay. So Someone in the comments, I'm the sure, will... Porsche we'll, CPO, it's, a, it's a good warranty. The Porsche CPO program. Yeah. Is, is it, I mean, I've never bought a Porsche CPO, but BMW will give you five years on top yeah, of whatever Yeah, you can get extended left. warranties, yes. So I, my, my E39, I literally had seven years yeah. of warranty. But Porsche, I just can't see... At the same, at the same thing. When the, in a year, this is a forty-five or fifty thousand dollar car, regardless of how much crap you put in it. And if the uh, Gran Turismo, like special, super cool next model comes yeah. out, this will be a sixteen thousand yeah. dollar car. It's worth. Years. It'll be worth nothing. So all, all your money on the options over the eighty-four. First of all, a eighty-four thousand dollars for a V six Panamera is insane. Well, let's be but, clear here. If you are going to do this. If you're going to do this, you absolutely can only do it if you're going to keep the car the like rest of your forever. life. The rest yeah. of your life. Or if you have so much money, you really don't care. And as you know, the majority of people who buy high-end cars like this have don't, so much money, don't, they, don't, they care. don't keep them. No. Two years, it's gone. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine like leasing something like this <laughs> <laughs> for $2,000 well, $2, a month? You'll notice that Porsche does not include a real time lease calculator <laughs> uh, on their configurator, yeah. and it's a good thing they so do. So that's an $84,000 car with $93,000 worth of uh, options on it. But <laughs> there is yet, there is still. I have a pretty good guess what's coming. There is still one more Porsche, and it's not a 911. The 918 Hybrid. How did I know? $850,000 Super. What are the options in this car? Well, let's go through them really quick. Uh, you could get magnesium wheels for $32,000. <laughs> Liquid metal chrome blue paint, sixty-three dollars <laughs> for blue. Uh, you could get liquid metal silver paint, also sixty-three dollars For $26,000, you can have authentic leather what, what are they putting in this thing <laughs> I, I don't know what 
fake leather? That's insulting to spend that much on a car and it doesn't in have a real two, leather. In a two-seat car. That's insulting. <laughs> How could they not have real leather? I don't know. Leather? Stop. Uh, if you want the front end to raise, to clear bumps, looks like you might want that in a car like this. Let me this. guess. Sixteen thousand dollars. Ten five. But the uh, uh, the lift system they sell aftermarket is twenty five hundred bucks. Uh, the Porsche Speed Charging Station, uh, twenty two thousand dollars. Wait, uh, that's <clears throat> the module you install in your garage connected yes. to a power line. Twenty two thousand. Twenty two thousand uh, dollars. If you want a carbon dash, that's seventy five hundred. Um, electric so comfort heating. But didn't you say in the eighties like heating and air conditioning were well, were optional? Actually, on my eighty seven Targa. The upgrade heat option, which yeah. is literally like a heat exchanger, is totally separate from the rest of the ventilation system. Was like a grand. Yeah, well, the AC in was the like nine eighteen. It's six thousand dollars if you want That's electric comfort heating. That's actually not bad. It's not bad. As I a guess. proportion of the uh, you can get six point uh, harnesses for thirty six hundred dollars, which uh, would be awesome. Except I have six point harnesses in my Corvette, and they cost me six hundred dollars. <laughs> right, of course. And uh, nine eighteen spider luggage set, twenty grand. What? No, that, no, that is offensive. Her Royal Highness's match luggage. That is truly offensive. That, that's the only thing that really shocks me. $63,000 for blue doesn't shock me? No, 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 $22,000 for luggage? <laughs> no, that's not right. Yeah. Well, that pretty much sums up uh, the most outrageous options packages I've ever seen. If we, uh, I think we should pose a question to the people out there. We should have them in the comments see how high they can build uh, Actually, a car. Actually, I, I have a much better and more direct question. I would like to know, what is the absolutely most awesome option package you picked up in a used car that you didn't pay for because it was depreciated already? That's a good question. Because I bet you people are picking up amazingly optioned cars yeah. for nothing. And I and starting with the Maserati Quattroporte. <laughs> Amazing might be a stretch. All right. Follow us on Twitter, at Drive. Follow me on Twitter, at The Smoking Tire. And follow us on Facebook, slash Drive TV. Go Fair to DriveShirts.com and get these. Amazing shirts. Man breasts not included. That was gross. I love having you with the knowledge. Love your knowledge. Mm, I love your head. Till next week.